In this tutorial, we are going to set up a Unity project to support uh, virtual reality. So I'm going to make a new blank project. I'll call this um, VR setup example. And um, I'm going to make sure it's just a, a 3D template. Um, there is a VR template provided by Unity, but um, I want to make sure we set up exactly what we want for this. So we're going to start with just a blank 3D template. Um, hit Create Project, and once Unity opens up, we have our um, empty, brand new, fresh Unity project. We're going to go under Edit, and then Project Settings. And way down in the bottom left, you will see XR Plugin Management. So our first step is that we're going to install this. Um, XR has become kind of the industry term that includes all of VR as well as augmented reality and mixed reality and all the different various R's um, fall under XR. And once it's installed, um, you get to choose uh, which company or um, group is providing the plugin for XR support. Um, in this case, we're going to use OpenXR, um, which is an open standard that supports um, the most available headsets. Uh, Oculus headsets will work under OpenXR, so will um, Steam-based headsets like the Index and the Vive. Um, we can support others, uh, but OpenXR is going to give us the widest support. Um, so, uh, as you finish installing this, it throws a warning that um, we've encountered before. If you've been following along in these tutorials, there's a, a first person character controller that we've used in the past that uses the same um, input system. This is basically telling us Unity has a new input system in the last few years, but it's not set up by default. Um, if you change to the new input system, you have to close Unity and restart your project, um, and it will automatically change the settings for you. And we want this, um, so it's not going to affect us uh, negatively at all, so we say yes to this. Unity will save, close, and open back up. So now the OpenXR plugin provider is installed, but you can see there's a warning next to it, and we want to click that warning um, because there are two things we need to fix. Um, Second thing first, because uh, it's easier, um, this thing talking about the game view and the track pose driver, you just click fix. It's a setting that Unity can automatically change to match what it needs. Um, the second one is relatively easy, but we just have to track it down. It says there needs to be at least one interaction profile. So that's which controllers we're going to support. So we hit edit and it'll take us there. And down here under Interaction Profiles, which is sort of in the middle of this window, it says the list is empty. So that's our problem. We need to click plus and put at least one controller type into this list. Um, so the most common ones on the market today are Oculus and Valve Index and HTC Vive. And so as you can see, you can have more than one controller supported and, and that's fine. We're going to do all three of those. Um, if you knew you needed to support any of these other ones, uh, you can add them too. But I'm not going to add anything that I don't intend to, um, to have attached to this computer. Next thing we're going to do is go back down here. Um, and this window we're in is the kind of uh, child window of XR plugin management. We've got our open XR plugin. Um, we also want to install uh, another plugin. Um, in our, uh, in our project for our purposes, um, we'll be developing on computers that don't have VR headsets attached. Um, our school lab is a Mac lab, doesn't support uh, our Oculus headsets. Um, and so while you can test on the PC in our um, media lab, in our classroom, um, we're gonna need some way of making a mock headset, a, a simulated headset. So we want to use the Unity Mock HMD. Um, so we're going to add that as well. Finally, if you intend to um, be able to install this directly on an Oculus Quest um, so that it doesn't have to be plugged into a computer to play the software, um, you can go over to the Android tab and install a different plugin for your Android build. 
Um, so in that case, we would choose the Oculus plugin provider instead of the OpenXR um, because the only time we would build for Android would be when we're trying to install directly on an Oculus headset. Next step is um, over here on the left, we're going to go up to Package Manager and we're gonna change the project settings for our package manager. Um, we need to click this button that says enable preview packages because as of the time that I'm making this tutorial, uh, the interaction profile just recently was brought out of a preview package status, but the mock headset um, still is a preview package and we're gonna need that support too. So we're gonna allow preview packages and it'll say, are you sure? And we'll say, yes. I am sure. Um, so now we can close this project settings window. So then we're going to go to window and package manager. And by default, um, it's probably going to show you the uh, packages that are in your project. But we want to pull this down and go to Unity registry so that we can see all the packages that Unity makes available to us. Um, so we've already got the check mark for uh, XR plugin management, but we also need to add the XR Interaction Toolkit. So we're going to hit install on that. This is another moment where Unity is saying there's a new way of doing something. The old way by default needs to be changed. Um, we need to uh, change it for you. So we're gonna say, I made a backup, go ahead, because um, there's really nothing to back up. In this case, we have a blank project. But if you're adding this to your previous um, project, maybe that has a lot of other uh, interactions in it already or, or other programming in it, um, you may want to actually make a backup first so that you don't break something. So in the background, while we were installing all of that, um, something changed here. There is now a samples uh, twirly that we can open um, that wasn't there before on the X XR Interaction Toolkit window. Um, and we need um, both of these uh, samples to be imported. So we're going to import the starter assets and we're going to import the device simulator. And these are both um, controller settings for our um, interactions with, uh, with the world and our uh, XR controllers. So go ahead and close the package manager and then we're going to look at those um, interaction starter assets that we just installed. Um, first, we'll double click on starter assets and on each of these um, controller processes like XRI default continuous move, um, every one of these, when we click them, there is up in the inspector an add to action based continuous move provider default button um, and we're going to click do that add it and unfortunately you got to do this with everyone so we're going to go down to the second one click add uh, the third one isn't something that you can do that with so we skip it then we go down to the fourth one we click add and on and on until we've done all of them so now that we've added all of these default controls to our interaction system um, we need to make one more uh, project setting change and that's to go up to edit project settings and in preset manager um, there is now an action based controller uh, set of presets and we just need to make um, an additional uh, kind of search tag here under the right controller preset we just want to call this right just in all lowercase I'm typing the word right and then for the left controller preset, we type left. Um, this is just gonna link some things up so that we don't accidentally get um, controls duplicating from one to the other. Um, so now we have the correct aliases we need and we can close this window. Okay, so now finally, we're gonna throw something in our scene. Um, let's just make a ground. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make the easiest ground possible. I'm just going to right click in my hierarchy, go to 3D object and choose plane. Um, I know we've been doing cubes in the past, but uh, in this case, a plane is, is just a flat thing. It's two dimensional. Um, I'll change its name to ground um, instead of plane and uh, I'm going to change its scale. Um, just so we have some distance to walk around. So maybe 15 by 15. Um, 
just so we got some space here. Um, next, I'm going to right click in our scene and go down to a new choice that hasn't been there before that says XR. And we're going to choose XR Origin Action Based. And this matter is not just the one that says XR Origin, we're choosing XR Origin Action Based because that's going to make our controllers work correctly. Um, so now we have the XR Origin, um, which if you twirl it open, uh, you'll see there's um, a bunch of things inside of it. It's, uh, it's basically deleted our default main camera and installed its own, um, as well as made a left-hand and right-hand controller, and it stuck them all under a parent object and then stuck that parent object under another parent object. So it sort of made a clean player rig for us, just like we did back um, with the first-person character controller um, tutorials. So... Next, we need to link up um, the actions that are possible with XR Interaction um, with our controllers and this rig. So we're going to take this XR Interaction Manager object, which was also created with our XR Origin process, and we're just going to add one more component to it. Um, we click Add Component in its inspector and just start typing uh, Input and the first thing that'll come up is input action manager script. Um, we want that. So we add that, and then here under the action assets, we're gonna twirl that down and add one. And at first, by default, it'll say none, but you click this little uh, circle with the, the plus in the middle, and um, we're going to choose the XR default input actions. So if you have um, a VR headset plugged into uh, your Windows computer, um, this project we've made would now run um, on that headset. So while we can't move around or do anything yet because we haven't uh, programmed it to, um, the headset works, I'm in the world and I can look all around. If you happen to have um, both uh, Steam VR and Oculus um, installed on your computer, because you're like you got both options, um, you may find that you need to go under your project settings and under XR plugin management, go to Open XR, and choose which play mode is the default. Um, I find that. Um, Steam VR never uh, pops up if I just leave it to system default. My system default must seem to be Oculus. If I don't want to plug in my Quest, um, if I want to use you know my my index that's plugged in, for example, then I need to switch this to specifically be Steam VR.